Do you know AWS MSK, the managed access for streaming Apache Kafka, comes with three authentication methods, one of which is IAM auth, which means that in order to access this Kafka cluster, you need to be assigned as an IAM user or IAM role with necessary permissions. This authentication method is proprietary to AWS services. Hence, in order to successfully pass through this auth layer, AWS provides its own jar file that sits on top of this Kafka cluster, which does the necessary checks before granting the access. This jar file works well in only two scenarios. One, it can perfectly integrate with your Java application, or two, if you are using Kafka CLI consumer or producer. But what if your application is written in Python? The existing uh, available Python Kafka packages does not have this support to get past this IAM auth users. As you can see, a lot of users have raised these questions on their repositories as well. As of now, AWS has not provided any support for Python yet. This was a requirement came to us in my recent project that I did. So I thought to share it with you and show you how I have done it in Python. I have already shown you how to access IAM auth enabled Kafka cluster using Kafka CLI scripts, the client consumer and the producer. So in this video, we'll write a Python app that passes through the IAM auth layer by using exact same CLI scripts, but running them through Python using sub processes. So here's the plan. We're going to create an IAM auth enabled Kafka cluster. Then we're going to create IAM permissions, users and roles to grant access to Kafka cluster. Then test Kafka cluster by accessing it through EC2 instance using the Kafka CLI scripts. Then finally writing a Python app to access the Kafka cluster. The first three steps will be exactly the same as in my previous video, hence not worth to repeat them again here. This video assumes that you already have done these first steps. If not, watch my previous video. The link is at the top right corner. Whereas this video will primarily be about the step four. You will get this repository as part of this exercise in which I have provided all of the necessary bits like CLI instructions, importing the IAM users and uh, preparing the machine where we need to test accessing the Kafka cluster, the IAM permissions and rules that we need to set in AWS with common issues and errors that I've faced with their possible resolutions and uh, the Python app itself. Right, so let me walk you through the code quickly. So it starts from if name equals main. So in the name, we have uh, some arguments. We'll take the topic where we need to subscribe, then bootstrap servers, pub publish topic, and the uh, configs, the path to client.properties file, and then Kafka home path with AWS region and debug. And then we are going to initialize a Kafka CLI producer in which we are providing the list of uh, commands exactly how we tested them in our uh, CLI, adding the producer.config for client.properties file. And then we are finally opening the sub process and returning this as a Kafka producer. We are doing exactly the similar thing in the Kafka consumer as well. And then we are going to start a background thread on consume messages, which takes the consumer as well as the producer. And the reason is uh, it receives the messages from the consumer and as soon as it receives it, it sends the receive messages to the Kafka producer via sub process S3D in command. And this send messages process is done in the background because of the fact that this S3D in is a blocking call. And then finally, we add a while true infinity loop here just to let the program keep running. So that is it for the code pretty much. So let us go ahead and test it. Right, so for test purpose, I have created a new pod named as Python app. So you can create a new EC2 instance to test this Python code, whereas the rest of the two pods stays there just for me to test the consumer and producer. Now, what we're going to do is uh, go into this Python app. And in fact, let us go in this producer pod as well and the subscriber pod as well. And create a new file here, nano main.py and I'm going to copy this entire code and paste it in here inside my pod. Now we are going to run this code as python main.py. The subscribe topic will be test topic 2. We provide the bootstrap servers. Uh, the publish topic will be test topic and then the Kafka path and the configs for the client properties. Here we are going to trigger the producer script uh, which is going to send the message on test topic 2. And the consumer here is going to listen on test topic. So what is going to happen is this producer is going to send the message on test topic two. This app is going to listen the messages on test topic two and publish on test topic. And 
this consumer is going to listen on test topic. So the data flow would go something like this from here to here and then from here to here. Now let's see if it works. In fact, uh, I think I missed one thing. Um, I haven't um, uh, initiated the IAM user credentials in any of this machine. That's why you're seeing these errors here. So this is the read write IAM user credentials, which I'm going to pass this to the Python app as well as the producer. And the read only credentials will be passed to the subscriber over here. All right, cool. Let's clear the screens. Now run the command. Right, so the Python app is running. It initiated the producer as well as the consumer. And now I'm going to run the consumer first. Right. And now let us run the producer from here. Okay, so uh, let us send a message on test topic two. Hello. Nice. So you can see it's received by this Python app and it's publishing now this hello message to the test topic, which is received over here. So this is actually pretty fast. I mean, I am using this in one of my production service as well. So I did do a load test on this as well by sending bunch load of messages within milliseconds and all of them were received on the consumer side. So that is all for this video. And as a bonus, I have also added uh, the Docker file for this as well for anyone who wants to test this out in an image so that you don't have to, uh, you know, initialize uh, the Java Kafka installation and the AWS IAM auth installation. So uh, this Docker file does everything for you. You can treat this as a base Docker file. You can use another Docker file for your actual Python scripts so that whenever you build a new image, you don't have to uh, redo these entire steps again. And as a plus point, I have also added a Terraform code for any of you who are interested to generate the IAM users roles as well as the permissions through Terraform. So that is all for this video. And if you have any questions, just send them down in the comments below. And as always, if you like our content, do give us a thumbs up and share it with others. And if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. This is going to keep us motivated to bring such useful stuff to you guys in the future. So that is all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.